Ah, Phil again. And hello. It's Vo. Welcome back to Turbine City. Last time we got up to the 990,000 mark. We're so close to the million. I've always wanted to get a city up there. I was kind of disheartened when I read that it wasn't really possible because of the hard limits in the game. It seems to be just removing the seagulls. It's the only step I've taken to try and eliminate some of the non-population citizens. And looks like we're going to get there. We've got space for about 20,000 people. Also got room for about 50 more buildings. So we've got some more zoned in here. And it's going to be a better distance away from the track. Get some zoned in across here. It's far enough away from the highway. Little bits that we can get filled in. I don't think we're going to make more tunnels across to the other side of the highway. Let's get these bits filled in. And we'll definitely need to look for more places to switch over zoning or delete some small roads. I've managed to get a little bit further. We'll go around, we'll try and make some space. Trim back another one of these small roads. It's obviously getting rid of uh, a decent number of buildings on either side. Or maybe give us the room to add uh, a few more houses here. I think we can come slightly closer to the track without worrying about it. We can probably come both sides of this road with housing. Move back this uh, industrial. It's only farming, so I don't think it creates uh, much pollution. With the mod that we've got turned on, there shouldn't be any pollution created anyway. Maybe zone on the other side of this large road. If we move the track back again, with the noise turned off, we don't need to, but. I think it looks more realistic. It's about the distance the track was uh, from an address I used to live in. Maybe slightly further back. Move the whole thing back a little bit. It should be fine. The trains are backing up. Maybe need to turn that down to 90% again. When making the map again, need to add multiple train tracks. Like maybe using the parallel roads tool if it works on tracks as well. Maybe doubling up train tracks would be a good idea. I mean, you want to accommodate so many stations, so many people using it. Having the industrial traffic and the pedestrian traffic on the same track. And as I say, adding so many stations and things, you do end up at this point with so many trains. It does become a problem, but if we turn down the budget to 90%, that should uh, spawn fewer trains and be sorted the backlogs. But otherwise, it's fine. Tuck in some residential where we can. Try and fit in these last few thousand people. Get rid of a few more small roads around the place. I've just got the low density commercial on it. I think that's the best target. Converting the low density stuff into high density stuff. This seems to be the best trade off. Even when we're deleting the buildings, like car parks and schools and things, because we don't need them. Still only giving us one building at a time. Unnecessary zoning along the highways. Get rid of some of that. Get rid of this little bit on the end. Yeah, this 
plenty of little bits we can tidy up. Get rid of this road here. quite well zoned and it's got so many paths in it. There's not really many opportunities to take stuff away. A little bit of zoning we'll get rid of. Yeah, any little patches of ones or anything like that. Or zoning that's uh, stray like this bit. Just sort of go around and tidy everything up. Yeah, and get rid of a few small roads. fill back in the gaps that we're creating with trees just to keep it all looking good and we're still well under the tree limit so that we can make trees get everything covered to our heart's delight and some of these bigger gaps that we're leaving without zone in get them all filled in so it looks better thing over here. Get rid of that. You know, all the individual buildings that we get rid of, they are going to count. So we can get our last uh, high density residential buildings in. We'll stay within the limit. Add in a few more houses along here. Sort of match up with the other road. Same thing up here. Every little counts. I want to kind of spread it out evenly at this point. Again, where we delete things like uh, schools and car parks, we can maybe go back into those spaces with some high density residential. I do like to keep it on the large and medium roads rather than the small roads. I don't really want to use any low density buildings at this point. So I'll let it run until they all come in. See if we can get up to the 995. We'll drop down a save. We'll do some more redevelopment. We're so close to the end. I did want to tidy up the industry stuff. I think the best plan is to dezone maybe chunks of uh, high density commercial and switch over to the residential. I think we're far enough away from the industrial and train track and everything to continue it along this main road. Get in these little gaps. Definitely with that mod helping our land value and helping all the buildings level up. Definitely required at this stage. I think if we didn't have that on, the zone in that's more stranded without the services in a decent uh, range of it. I think that would be holding less people, providing less housing for them. ensuring that we're cramming everybody in. Just got to get rid of some of this zoning. That's sort of on the outside of everything. And fill in the inside. With this uh, high density residential. As I was saying, I think we might need to sacrifice the rules of keeping it off the small roads. It's better just to fill in small areas, these little gaps. I don't think it'll look too out of place. Where we've left awkward zoning, and it's not using up the fours. We can get that converted into the high density stuff. I'm sure the people won't be too unhappy and getting turfed out. 
if so, it'll only be temporary. Quite determined at this point that we're going to make it or not. Yeah, I was hoping we were going to get up here. As I've said in many previous playthroughs, I've been trying for the million, but given up. be good if we can hit it. According to the show limits mod, it looks like we've got room. We could get up to 1,010,000 according to that. So we'll let it run for a bit. Let all those uh, buildings disappear that we've dezoned. And then let the high density buildings all come in. We'll see how high we can get the population up to, how close to the million. Check out a few cinematics along the way. The place is looking good. As I've said, I think it adds a little bit of variety when we're taking out some of these small roads. Rather than everything being totally filled in, I think it's helping the overall look rather than hurting it. So little by little, we're getting closer. Turn back on the day night cycle just so we can get some nighttime cinematics. I'm going to the options to get that turned back on. Let it run a little bit further. Let's get all the way up to 998 just with the buildings slowly levelling up and fitting more people in. Yeah, we can still fit in a few more buildings. We can definitely fit in enough people. We've got space for another 10,000 people. We only need 2,000. So I'm pretty confident at this stage we're actually going to make it. I'm going to fill in some of this gaps that we left before. Hopefully this is going to be enough. Make sure none of these buildings are noisy buildings. don't think they are. I don't think we're fine. could probably even delete this uh, car park. Surplus to requirements. This, this last little bit of room. Let's see how much of this uh, grows in. I'd like to think this is going to be enough room for 2,000 people. Certainly, if the buildings are going to level up all the way, I reckon that should be enough. That should be all we need. So I've let it run. We're almost there. The lights are all coming on. We can make sure they've got enough power through the night. Equal out that budget for them. Definitely got the money to cover it. We'll be alright. So yeah, it's slowly creeping her up. Slowly but surely. Obviously, with so many people in the city. Lots of people living and dying. So the population is fluctuating, but it is slowly going up. So we'll check out a few superior nighttime animations. I do like the cinematics at night. Everything illuminated. I think it makes the place look more alive. by the dawn we'll be up to that million and then I'll feel like I've completed the game it's been a long time coming I've been working on this sort of uh, 
design, city design on this map several times. Usually one big playthrough a year sort of thing. So maybe one one year I've done it twice, but yeah, after six or seven playthroughs of this map, using just the 25 tiles to try and get up to the highest population you could. Always sort of aiming for a million. I never got there. But these extra mods that I've uh, had to employ to get up here certainly made the difference. And we've done it. I actually made it. I actually got a million people in. Well, I'm definitely dropping down a save in case it dips back down. <laughs> No, I'm super glad we finally got there. All our buildings are in. But yeah, we still got another space for another 10,000 people. So yeah, that's the proof. It is possible. You have to do a lot of uh, wiggling within the rules. But yeah, we managed it. It is certainly possible to get a city up to a million people. I feel like we've finally earned the title of Megalopolis. I think a Megalopolis should have a million people in it. It sounds like it should. Oh well. We can have some celebration cinematics. We'll just uh, wait until the sun comes up. And then we'll see if we're still above the million. Quite satisfied to have dropped down the save. If it drops back down again, still made it. <laughs> yeah, the never ending conga line of people still going. The city is as popular as ever. Yeah, there's a few more things we could tidy up, sort out the feature roundabout and the water level. Add a few more paths in. Maybe decorate the area around the other beach. Seems to have wild tides over there, so have to sort out the land a little bit. But we're pretty much done. Could always delete a few more industries DLC assets. To try and get rid of a few of the complaint icons there. Traffic lights could turn off. Could switch all the stop signs for yield signs. Try and get the traffic flow percentage up. But yeah, I'd say it's uh, definitely a success. It's my first time using the campus DLC stuff, so it was quite successful. Until it was sort of surplus to requirements because of the monument. Be better if there was a sliding scale of uh, the monuments effect, so you still needed some educational buildings. I think that would be slightly better, a better balance. So the monument didn't render it uh, completely useless, all your campus stuff. But yeah, at least we know for next time. Maybe don't put in the monument if you're going to use the campus stuff. Or if you're going to use the campus stuff, at least maybe you only have one set of the varsity sports buildings. Maybe add less buildings in general. Try a first person ride with an aeroplane. See if we can get a good scale. Yeah, nice uh, shot of the city as it takes off. Yeah, I've never tried the first person camera on a plane before. I've tried it on the blimps before, so I know that works. So we're going to blimp right after this. Yeah, not really. Yeah, mountains still look good. It's like a party of planes in the sky a lot of air traffic going on. We'll 
sounds of people flying in and out of the city. Cargo planes and the passenger planes. So many blimps going on. They're all in a massive queue waiting to go. And the problem with the blimps is they take so long to hover above the stop and then go down and get back up and get on their way. They generally travel pretty slowly and they've only got capacity for 25 people on them, which is not much use. Definitely one of the more inferior mass transit uh, modes of transport. But another bit of fun. More blimps in Turbine City than there actually are in the real world. But never mind. The river could do with a little more water, I think, to make it look a little more full. So that's something we could come back and do. Another little tweak. I mean, I'm sad to say goodbye to the city. Feels like we're done. Maybe a couple more tweaks. Just adding a few more paths. Raising the water level here. Maybe try and work on that little beach bit. Get a few more cinematics. Try and get the traffic flow up. Yeah, I think even if I delete more industries buildings not going to get within the, the limit that I can put down another building to put down another unique building that I want to put down like the mountain resort rather than I think that's going to be out of the question now check out the animation of this skate park I really like it citizens like uh, these guys that count towards the limit usually stop you getting uh, up to the million. Citizens that uh, aren't part of the population because they're always skating around. It's a shame that bigger skate park that got off the workshop didn't somehow import the animations to have the people skating as well. Because that would be good. Yeah, I really like this. Someone went to all the effort of uh, animating all the people. You don't appreciate from so far away. You're working on a city, just pop it in. Yeah, a lot of the assets have uh, sort of custom animations on them. Yeah, this is one of my favourite. The guy in the bowl must freak out when the blimps come overhead and it gets suddenly dark as night. Frighten me. Definitely put you off. A few more opportunities for trees. I can see a gap here. Do a quick whip round. I like the last few brush strokes on a masterpiece. Let's see if we've got any more little gaps. I think we'll come back for one more episode. Check out the traffic flow. Add in some more pathways. Move some of these industries DLC assets. They seem surplus to requirements, so they're all moaning. Yeah, I'm really pleased. I managed to get above the million. People are still coming in. Looks like we're going to get up to the 1 million and 2,000. Yeah, definitely a success. Thanks everyone for joining me on the journey. Definitely taking away some of the stress of 2020. back next time. Most likely for the last time. We'll pick up where we left off. Until then, take it easy.
I'll see you in the next one.